Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in PUBG. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because we are going to be focusing on all kind of issues regarding FPS drops, frame lags, stutter, input latency, a lot more. So without wasting up any more time, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're here go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Any kind of overlays running in the background will lead to performance issues in the games. Once you're done with that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. I have seen this multiple times. Game mode turned on will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Right beneath that you will find graphic settings, click on that and then click on change default graphic settings over here. You need to enable hacks and optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help to utilize your GPU to render the game as well as optimize the input and render latency. Go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of your game. Once you're in your Steam, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Head over to TSL game, binaries, v64 and you'll find tslgame.exe. You have to copy this whole file path and now you have to paste it right over here. Select TSL game, click on add. If that is already added, you have to scroll down, click on it, head over to options and then select high performance. This will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game. Click on save and that should be it. Simply close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings. And for this, you have to head over to the same location where you have downloaded your game. And right over here, select ESL game, right click on that, head over to the properties, click on compatibility, and then you have to select disable full screen optimizations. After that, click on change high DPI settings and then select override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK then click on OK. This will help you to improve your input latency. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however like how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here you wanna have to select custom. Then only enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four settings will help you to keep the basic look of your windows intact while disabling all kind of unwanted and unnecessary animations which might cause performance issues. Once you're done with that, next step is heading over to the advanced tab and then click on the change settings button right over here. Deselect automatically manage paging file size and then for the custom size set this thing to 1361. After that you have to open up your calculator and now you have to multiply your RAM that is 32GB for me with 1024. If you are unsure of your RAM you can simply search for system information on your PC. Over here you will find install physical memory. This is your RAM. So multiply that with 1024 and you'll get your memory in megabytes. Divide this value by 2 and the new value should be pasted in the maximum size. Virtual memory is a concept which utilizes your hard disk drive or your SSD as your temporary RAM if your RAM is completely utilized. This will help you to fix performance issues if your RAM consumption is 100% while you are playing the games. Simply click on set, click on ok and then click on ok. Next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point over here and then look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it PUBG just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without 
without any data loss. Once you're done with that, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is a PUBG FPS pack for 2025. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find six simple folders right over here. Let's have the first one that is CPU priority. In here, I have left CPU priority optimization registries for both AMD and Intel CPU. So if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to set up the correct D word values for your CPU and help you to improve its performance. Second folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a lot of registries which are presets right over here. I have 32GB RAM so I need to run this registry right over here. Simply double click to apply it. I have already done that. You can find according to your configuration and do that. Once again, if that doesn't give you the expected results and if you are facing any kind of performance issues, you can always reset it back to default right over here. Third folder is the PUBG PC priority. This is the most important folder right over here and I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which registry you need to choose right over here. Simply double click to apply that and go back. Fourth folder is the power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. You have to right click and run this as administrator and this will run a command prompt on your PC and then after that you have to head over to power plans. Right over here you will find ultimate performance that should be added into the additional plan settings. Simply select that and click on close. This power plan will help you to disable all kind of power saving and hibernation features on your windows which will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Fifth folder is unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are really useless for your PC. They take up a lot of CPU and RAM utilization in the background and most of the time you don't even use them. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth devices or printers, leave these two services untouched and other than that, I would recommend you guys to disable every single one of these services by double clicking on them. This will help you to improve your PC's performance. And if that doesn't work out well for you or you want to reset any of them back, head over to the revert registries folder and you can enable them back again right away. Last folder is the programs folder in which I have left two simple files. First one is clean temporary files. You're going to have to right click in on this as administrator. Once you're here, simply press any key and start deleting all of the temporary files off of your PC. Once that is done, next step is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. You're gonna have to right click and run this as administrator once again. And once it opens up, you have to find your graphic card in this list. Select the MSI button next to it. And for the interrupt priority, you're gonna have to select high. This will ensure that your GPU can handle higher interrupts, which means higher performance. After that, click on apply and then click on OK. Once you're done with the FPS pack, you can simply close it. Next step is fixing all kind of network issues, latency, packet loss using no ping. I'll leave you a link to this down in the description below. Once you open up the app, it should open up like this and it has over 1000 games to search from. You can simply look up for PUBG and then select their unknowns battleground right over here. Click on choose manual server and then locate the nearest region to you. For me, it will be Singapore. As you guys can see, it shows you number of servers which are currently available for you and I am getting the lowest amount of ping in this server. Simply select that and then click on optimize game. This will help you to one click boost your game. No ping acts as a VPN to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance. And the best part about this is the boost FPS section wherein if you enable these settings, you can also improve your FPS. I personally use no ping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements with the game performance. I would recommend you guys to download no ping for yourself and check it out. Links are in the description below. Next step is dropping into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head down to settings. Over here, you will be in the graphic settings and now you will find Nvidia highlights if you have an Nvidia graphic card. You wanna have to set this thing to disable since it consumes a lot of GPU usage in the background. For display mode, you wanna have to use full screen resolution should be 1920 by 1080 or your native monitor resolution. Lobby FPS cap should be set to unlimited and in-game FPS cap should be set to 3 FPS lower than your monitor's refresh rate. I have a monitor refresh rate of 240Hz, so I have set it to 237. If that is 60Hz for you, you can set this thing to 57 and so on. Once that is done, click on apply. Once you're done with that, head down to the advanced settings over here and for the render scale, you can select something between 80 to 95. I personally like 95 better because that is amazing. Overall graphics quality should be set to custom. Anti-aliasing and post-processing should be set to very low. Shadows, low. Textures, medium. Effects, low. Foliage, you guys can go with very low. View distance, I have kept it to high, but for super low end PCs, go with medium. Sharpen, V-Sync and Motion Blur, you wanna have to set all of them to disable. And DirectX version should be set to 12. Once again, if you have a super low end PC, you can go with 11 enhanced. Once that is done, click on apply. 
Now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me out. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.